Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions bringing you another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's tip is on how to uh, deal with clipped cross sections in Chief Architect X14. Let's get started. So I've created this uh, master closet in uh, a little, it's a bonus room, if you will, over the garage. So we've got um, the the uh, slope ceiling starts at 67 and a quarter from the subfloor and uh, slopes up like so. What I did was created these, up, these shelves up here. They're going to be field built, but I used wall cabinets to uh, create these boxes and create the shape. But if you notice, uh, I can do the wall elevation on the gable end wall, and that works. But if I do a wall elevation of these long walls, it doesn't show up with the correct ceiling height and um, uh, the, the open shelf boxes because um, I have a feeling that that's because Let's take a section of this. You can see where the box is actually. Let me take a, an actual back section. You can see where the box is actually above the um, sloped ceiling. So in 3D, an exterior view doesn't look appropriate, but I really don't care about that. I'm just worrying about the interior right now. So how to get this elevation here. I'm going to start off with a back, back clipped cross section. I'm going into my cross section view and using the back clipped cross section. Shift F12 on your keyboard if you've got that set up in your keyboard settings. And I'm going to take a section through from the middle of the room just to the back of this wall here. Now this is great, but I don't need all of the rest of it. In the past, what I would probably have done was use some Chief Architect Whiteout, which is a um, polyline with white, with um, invisible line edges and a white solid fill. But now, in X14, I can edit this Active View camera, and I can clip the sides and clip the elevation. If I do clip to room, it does as if I'm doing the wall elevation camera and it goes right back to where we don't want it. So I'm going to clip the sides and clip the elevation. Now I can select this box here and drag this clip line right over to the room size that I want. I'm going to take this over to the drywall here. And look at that. Take this right up to the um, subfloor. And to the drywall again here. Quick and easy. Uh, I see the sloped ceiling here through I see even the uh, the cabinets uh, the wall cabinets that are above actually sticking out of the roof but that's all you got to do um, in 3d uh, menu you can go get to that by it's the edit camera edit active Mm -hmm. Maybe it's under Tools, Active Default, Active View. Yeah. Okay, Tools, Active View, Edit Active View. Clip the sides, clip the elevation, and you have that box. Now, when you click, click on this, make sure down here in the bottom left, it's not saying polyline produced by 3D wall editor, click around and maybe tab, and then uh, what you're trying to find is the camera clip plane. I tried it with 
I tried using this clip plane with the um, wall elevation, the one where it's it's uh, clipped to the room, and that didn't work. It, I couldn't I couldn't drag it up and and get to the top of the um, ceiling and show these uh, show these cabinets up there. So do a cross section, use your clip planes, sides, and elevation, and it'll work just fine. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, as always, please leave some encouragement, like and subscribe down there, uh, and leave some comments. I enjoy the interaction with you all. Have a great week.